everybody as promised this is the next video um i'm recording today i was going to film quite a few but i'm not too sure if uh, i'm going to get a chance i hope i hope i am um i will just look the same in some videos possibly because <laughs> i have to re record them in bulk and then upload them um but yeah so apologies for not uploading for a while um and the reason is i don't know if you can see in the background <laughs> my chase i'm just like moving around so the reason that I haven't recorded in so long is because of George. Hello. So we got ourselves a George. Hello. We got ourselves a little puppy. How sweet. Oh, he's still cute. He's a lot bigger than he was. He's grown loads. I am sorry for not uploading for so long. Um, it's like having another baby, <laughs> to be honest. Um, what are you doing? having to hold him make sure he's okay yes it is it's like having another baby so we've got a toddler and like another little newborn baby at the moment um he's getting there it's a lot easier than it was at the beginning he was a bit unsettled so it, it did take him a little while to to fit in but shall we crack on and get and show you what he's like isn't he sweet oh he's a sweet tea i don't know if you can still see him i'm trying to look in my monitor Say hello George. I've got the mirror over there so I can see the back of the camera. Say hello George. Hello. I think he's been asleep. Matthew's just brought him up from downstairs. He's just had his dinner time nap. After his dinner in his full belly. So he's a little bit sleepy I think. So yeah. So his name's George. And we picked him up last, not last Friday, the Friday before. Um, we'd been planning on getting a dog for some time. I put on Twitter ages ago um, something about if you could recommend family dogs that you've had or your favourite kind of dogs because we're thinking about getting one. Um, and we did a bit of research. We were actually offered a Border Collie um, puppy and we would have been able to pick them up at the same time. No, don't you, not me. Um, but I mean Matthew had a border collie when he was younger but they just really don't suit our lifestyle at the moment it's just not something and I wouldn't want to get a dog that I wasn't 100% on and wouldn't be able to give all my time to so after a bit more research we came across a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel which is what George is he is a little red and white <laughs> puppy um, I think he's pronounced Blenheim but the um, Fair had said Blenheim but I'm not too sure so you might have to correct me on that whether it's Blenheim or Blenheim I'm not too sure but that's the colouring that's what they that's what they call oh he's off that's what they call the colouring oh <laughs> see what I mean being busy um yeah so he is how old is he now so he was 12 weeks old yesterday so 12 weeks old we picked him up when he was just 10 weeks, so just under 11 weeks he was, 10 and a half weeks. We actually went to see him um, when he was 8 weeks, and he was a lot, lot smaller then. Um, 8 weeks old he was, we went to the breeder. Luckily there was actually a breeder that was really that was, that was was close by, um, and we went to go and see him and have a look at him. In my mind, I wanted a girl dog. I don't, I, it was just something that I was thinking, well, I've got Matthew as a boy, Finley's a boy and I'm the only girl really. I mean we've got two cats but they're always out and about, they're not really inside cats so um, I did go with the intention of getting a little ruby girl that was there which is the red colour so um, just like an all over red ruby girl and I went there and George was the puppy that was snuggling into us, rolling around, friendly with Finley, just being generally very sweet and cute and so yeah, so George was the one that we picked. So instead of going for a red ruby girl, we got a Blenheim, Blenheim boy. <laughs> so yeah, we came out with him. Um, he was ready to pick up at the time, but I really didn't want to just pick him up and not have everything in place and not have a vet's appointment booked in for him. So what I did, I um, discussed it with the breeder and I said that I needed to get everything set up and then make sure that we've got everything safe in the house because obviously we've got Finley. So we um, we had to wait till the 26th because she was going away. So we waited till the 26th of July and then we picked him up. So I don't know if you can see him. He's just down here chewing. He's just let down at the moment. I'll show him again in a minute. I'll just give him a bit of a rest. Um, so yeah, he is cheeky. <laughs> he's basically Finley in a dog form. So he's cheeky. 
naughty a little bit, <laughs> um, cute. Yes, you are, are you? You're being naughty, chewing. Um, but yeah, so no, it's really good. Um, it's you know, it's also just everything you would expect from a puppy, really. I mean, you wouldn't really expect anything less, would you? So, um, yeah, he's so cute. So George is now our new little family dog. I've never had a dog before. Um, Matthew has when he was growing up. He's had loads of dogs, but I've never had a dog. But I wanted to make sure that um, I did as much research as I could and understood the breed really well. And I actually visit a forum, which I think I probably will link this video on. Um, so there might be people watching the video on the forum that I post on. So, hello. Um, but there's a really helpful forum that I go on and, and they're all really lovely and give me loads of tips and they actually, um, they, they were more helpful and we went to take George for a check up at the vets and she really wasn't very helpful at all our vet. I don't know if it's because she didn't specialise in the breed or she just sort of kind of was like, yeah he's fine, he's okay and I said well he's not really eating. Oh no, he's fine. He'll be fine. He'll come back onto his food. Don't worry about it. Went up to this forum um, and was told to change his food, and we made everything different for him. And he's and he snaffled all his food up straight away. So he obviously didn't like his food. He was getting quite poorly from it. Um, so yeah, so he's a different dog since he's had it. I'm just trying to think what else. He he's nearly. I don't know. I wouldn't say he's. I wouldn't say he's potty trained as such, but he does go outside all the time. He's only ever had one little accident, um, and that was on the first day. So that was when I dashed upstairs to put Finley to bed, and then Matthew was in the kitchen, and we weren't too sure how and when does he go, and oh, it was a bit, you know, frantic. But yeah, so since then, he hasn't really had. Well, he hasn't had any accidents. How <laughs> be a good boy. He's a bit naughty. He likes to bite. Well, not bite. I say that. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? He likes to chew, um, just like a baby, I suppose. Um, but he's got plenty of toys to chew on, and he's not allowed to chew on us at all. Are you, George? He's very lively. He seemed to have perked up a little bit. Um, when we got him, he was very docile, and I think that was because he was on the wrong food and he wasn't being fed very well. And to be honest, I really don't think that the um, the breeder really took that much care. That sounds really bad. It sounds really bad that to say that the breeder didn't really um, take much care of him but I don't know if she'd fleed him and it, he was still had fleas and I don't know if he'd, well they say he'd been wormed but I don't know and I don't know. So anyway we've took control of that now and he's been fleed, wormed and, and back, he's had his first vaccinations. Do you want that? Come over here then. Come on. He's had his first vaccinations now so he's due to go next Tuesday to the vets again to be vaccinated second time round and get his microchip in. Um, he's getting on really well with the cats. The first day <laughs> they were like, what is this dog that you brought home? Why have you got a dog? Um, they weren't impressed at all, but they seem to get in there now. Um, one of our cats, the big one, it seems massive. I mean, he's a huge cat anyway. I mean, I'll try and if I can do one day, if I film and I'm downstairs and I'll show you how big he is, but since we've had George and because he's only a tiny puppy, he's made the cat seem even bigger, he's huge. Um, so yeah, the cats are getting on really well with him, Finley loves him, I mean he gets a bit like, Whoa, when he's going a bit crazy and he's a bit too playful, um, Finley can be a bit like, ah, oh, okay, I've had enough now, because I'm, cause he's only walking on his knees still, um, and when the, if the dog jumps, I mean, I've, I've trained him to sit and, to, you know, when he stays still then, but if he's getting a bit overexcited, I think he feeds off Finley's energy. Um, and it's like he's, like, the same size as him when he stands on him, so I have to, like, control him, but he's never uh, unsupervised or anything. They're never left unsupervised with each other, so that's fine. But, yeah, so he's lovely all round. He is... He was 2.2 kilograms, if anyone's interested in that, when we went to the vets last week and we'll get him weighed again on Tuesday. So if you want an update video on him and how he's getting on, then just let me know because I'm more than happy to do it. Um, so yeah, he is nearly 12 weeks. He's still waking up in the night. He this is why this is why I'm saying in my first video why I haven't had no time. <laughs> For some reason, I've been more tired having George than I have when I was getting up every night with Finley, It's so weird. Um, I think it's just because I got out of the habit 
of waking so often and actually starting to sleep through with Finley. I mean, it was only a couple of months ago that he did start properly sleeping, but I think it's just being out of that habit again and going thrown straight back into it that um, that it's tiring me out. So, so yeah, we're back, back to getting up in the night for a bit. I'm hoping it's not going to last too long. Um, he wakes, he goes to bed sort of quite late, but half 11, 12 o'clock at night. So I think that's where, again, the tiredness is coming in because I'm staying up really late and then getting up quite early and getting up in the night too. Um, he sleeps all the way through the night in his crate. He doesn't get out of it, so we're actually crate training him. Um, what else? He'll wake up about three, half past three, just whining a little. Um, I think he's just a bit unsure still. I mean, we've only had him less than two weeks, so I can't really expect him to be you know, properly comfortable with us yet, so um, I'm sure we'll get there, but I don't get up with him, um, I don't, sh you know, I'm not pandering over him at night because I don't want him to get used to the fact that if, if he cries and then I'll get up and then he'll see me then and then he'll think, hmm, I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep getting up at night, <laughs> so um, he does need to tell him, but yeah, so he's a good boy, he's just very playful, just like a normal puppy, just a puppy really, um, yeah. He's a good boy. So the cats get on with him, just I think Finley gets on with him really well. There's actually um this morning he actually didn't sat on Finley's knee, we're just like that. Fast asleep, fast asleep on each other. So that was quite cute. He is very much a people dog, so if you don't really know about the breed, if you're watching this just through my regular YouTube channel and not through the forum, um Everyone on the phone will know this already, but he is very much um, a people breed, so they love being around people and they love having company and they don't really like to be on their own for very long, so he loves being with either Ma Matthew or Mathel. He doesn't really like being on his own as much yet, so I'm going to have to try and train him for that, because if we're not in, I can't really have him barking and annoying the neighbours, so we're just going to have to get get training in with that. He's getting there though, he's not, he's not too bad. But yeah, he loves being with one of us. He loves to curl up, give us cuddles. He's very cuddly. He has, I think he's in a bit of a playful mood. I was hoping that I was gonna get him. No, no biting. Yeah, he's in a playful mood. <laughs> I was hoping I was gonna get him in a sleepy mood and he would look cute. But he doesn't seem to be. He seems to be a bit overly energetic at the moment. Finley's in bed, so it's given me a chance to to film and it gives Matthew a break so Matthew will be downstairs now with no baby and no puppy and he's like yes I've got some peace but yeah it is constant so if you are considering getting a puppy or a dog then I would highly recommend researching into what kind of breed you want are you suitable for that breed like I say we were offered a border collie it wasn't the, the right dog Matthew was happy to get her um, and he was falling in love with her and saying she was cute and really oh Sorry about that, that was my foot. Um, he was really wanting to get this dog. So George is very much a people person, you know, people people dog. Um, he loves being around company. He gets on well with other pets, which is why we were happy to get him because we've got the cats. He gets on with children. And he's just everything that we would want in a dog. You know, when he's older, he, he likes to have a cuddle with you. He's very sleepy, you know, he can get very sleepy. and. Obviously they're very lively when they want to. He isn't a dog that's necessarily going to want to run for miles and miles and miles and miles every single day. Um, obviously they'll want walks and they'll want a nice play and they like attention and they're loyal. It's just something that we really wanted in a dog so he was perfect for us. Um, <laughs> he's so naughty. He is very nippy. I don't know if I've said that already. Bitey. He's very nippy. Um, but I'm trying to curb that with training. Um, he can, just trying to think what tricks he can, not tricks, but he'll answer to his own name. Um, he'll come back, so especially if you've got food, um, he loves his food. He will sit when you ask him to sit. He will lay down and he will also give you his paw. So they're all the things that I've done in the past two weeks. The next thing I'm going to do is train him to go to his bed. So, um, which is the crate that he's got. He's actually got a bed in there as well. So I'm just going to train him if, say, we're busy or not busy, but we want him to pop into his bed, then we can actually shout. I might even look at the camera. George, come here. What have I got? If we are um, going out or he is begging for food, which is another one that I want to try. 
we can show him to his bed so we can shout bed and he can, he can hop in as well so that's another trick that I really want to get to him he and what else he's just lovely he's really nice to have a dog around the house um he is naughty and very chewy but I'm sure like any other puppy and dog he will grow out of it He's in a very playful mood at the moment. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, you are. You are very playful. Can I show you to the camera one more time, please? I don't think he really wants to. Let me just pick him up for you. No, no biting me. Look. Look, everybody. My name's George. See, he's off. He wants to go. He's like, no, thank you. I've got toys over there, please. I want to play with them. Oh George, oh George, we were going to call him Bobby, um, we had on our shortlist, let's have a look at my phone actually, I've got the name, the shortlist of name that was on there, George, oops, oh no, doggy, here we go, we were either going to call him Jack, George, Alfie, Buddy and we have Bobby. Um, and we were, we were head, going towards Bobby because it would be easy for Finley to say um, but then I really like the name George that's so I, this is this is why I've been gone for so long it's because all day I'm constantly pulling either Finley or something pulling the dog off something taking the dog out taking Finley out getting his dinner ready it's just non-stop can you see it over there yeah so we went with George just because um we were going to call him that, that was one of our choices, um, but then when the royal baby was born, I think it was a Tuesday before we picked him up, we were like, oh actually, maybe we should call him George, and he actually suits that a lot better, I think. He's after my tripod. <laughs> He's so naughty. Come here. So yeah, so we called him George, and Finley can actually say it, it's not too bad, he goes, George, 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 like that, he's cute. And then he's learned, Finley's also learned that when, um, I'm uh, telling the dog off, I'll say, no, naughty George, naughty, and then he goes, naughty, like, naughty, and like, shakes his finger at him if he's being rude, or jumping up at him, he goes, naughty, naughty, in his own little way, but yeah, he's non-stop, it is non-stop, so if you are planning on getting a dog or a puppy, I mean, I'm home all day anyway, so that's not, you know, an issue to, to leave a dog at home, because I'm off all day anyway, um, with Finley. So, what you know, it's perfect timing really to get a puppy to to have a puppy. He's just chewing everything. <laughs> Are you just chewing? Can I show everybody you if I pick the camera up in a minute? What I'll do, I'll try and get some video of him um, playing around in the garden or... I'm just I'm sorry, I keep leaning forward and leaning back and moving everything and grabbing everything but... It isn't peaceful whatsoever having this puppy about. Come on you, get off. Everything's on the floor. Come on. Good boy. Don't bite me. No, no biting. I will try and get some footage of him um, bounding around in the garden or playing around in the front room, whatever he's up to. I'll try and get that and then insert that at the end if I can. So helpful. I'll try and film some when I go downstairs because it's quite a nice day today it's quite nice and sunny um, the weather's been a bit rubbish she's not keen on going out in the rain which I know is another trait of the breed that they really don't like the rain <laughs> so when it needs to go out at night and it's chucking it down I've got this massive big golfing umbrella um, I used to work at a golf club years and years ago which I just acquired from there so it's humongous so I'm just like stood there with this huge umbrella with a dog under it trying to keep him under the umbrella as he runs around the garden um, to go to the toilet but yeah so he is uh he's lovely all around lovely i would say so yeah i would definitely recommend getting a dog or a puppy but only if you've really got the time and really make sure you research what you're getting because um because also because i've never had a dog before i didn't want a massive dog um the class is a toy breed so they don't get huge and i'm a bit wary not wary of dogs i wouldn't say i'm scared of them i just say that because i've never had one before it's just it's just new to me and I would be a bit, if it was quite a large dog, I'd be a bit standoffish and a bit, Ugh. but um, you're chewing that, aren't you? You're being naughty. 
So yeah, so I decided we decided to go to this for this breed, and he's lovely. Um, we would probably get another one because I know that they like having a bit of company, so we would consider getting another one. Maybe it depends how much <laughs> I can go with because at the moment I am I, I'm so tired because he keeps waking in the night, and then he gets up very early. We get up at six o'clock in the morning, um, and then I'm up till midnight, and then if he gets up in the night and I'm up for a bit listening to him. It's uh, It gets very tiring, but he's worth it. And I'm sure it won't last very long. I'm sure that soon he'll be thinking, oh, I just want just to relax. But at the moment, he doesn't. So let's have another quick look. Let's have another quick look at you. Come on. Let's pick you up. Look. This is little George. Hi. Hello, everybody. You probably have to focus a bit, aren't you? Because I'm probably too far close. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. This is George. Hi, George. Are you pretty? He's got a bit of tear staining around his eyes, but I keep that clean, clean down every day. So I'm hoping that that'll he'll grow out of that. I've been told that he should grow out of that maybe, but keep on top of it. Hello. Aren't you beautiful, little boy? You are gorgeous. He's a good boy. He's so cute. Look how tiny he is. Oh, a little cuddle. Hello. Are you giving me a cuddle? Isn't he sweet? I bet he's getting tired now. He's had about five minutes and then he'll sleep. That's another thing I'm really shocked about is the amount of sleep that he has. I was expecting him to be mental. Like, really, like, non-stop all day mental, but he's actually... He sleeps quite a lot, he likes to have his naps, so it does give us a bit of a break when he's having his nap. You're a good boy, you're being a good boy now. Sorry for my hair as well, it looks a mess, but this is what it's like having a toddler and a puppy in no time. Ew, don't be licking, don't be licking little George. So you're going to say bye to everybody George and I'll say I'll see you later on. I will do another video. If you want me to do another video of how he's getting on in the future and updates and anything that we come across or maybe um, things that I would recommend. So yeah, that's everything. So say bye bye George. Bye George. Bye. I'll see you soon. So I will film an update once he's a little bit bigger. It makes me sad he's going to grow up and be a big boy. So yeah. So say bye. He's just looking. <laughs> Don't lick me. So that's George, so he's so sweet. I've also done a blog post on him um, and done some pictures of him, so there's some pictures on there if you want to go ahead and have a look at that. I'll put that in the description bar below if you want to have a look. But yeah, so that's where I've been <laughs> for the past few weeks is looking after a toddler. This is what, it's constant. I'm just like, uh, uh, <laughs> trying to just wrangle him. Come on. Not usually in the bedroom apart from at night when he's fast asleep in his crate so he's like mm, this looks new I've never seen all these exciting things before all these exciting things no you haven't have you you've never seen them before cheeky cheeky boy so yeah thank you very much for watching everybody and I'm really sorry that I've disappeared off the face of the earth if that's what it seems like so I'm really sorry about that but he has taken up a lot of time and so has Finley and I've been absolutely knackered. Last night Matthew stayed up with him so I could go to bed really early and I, and I went to bed at 10 and I must have passed out within 30 seconds and then he came to bed later with him and he actually got up early with, with him as well so I could sleep until about 8 so I had a decent night's sleep last night so I thought right I need to make a video today. Oh isn't he sweet? So yeah he's very cute, we love him very much. And I'll do another update soon. So if you want any help or tips or if you've got any questions about him, then leave them below. If I've missed anything out, which I probably have done um, routine-wise or health-wise, then let me know because um, if you've got anything, I want, you know, I'd like to answer it for you. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Sorry that I've rambled on again like I do with most of my videos, but I just can't help it. Um, we shall say bye and we shall see you all very soon. So Bye. Say bye, George. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, he's going to sleep now. Bye. Good boy. You're a good boy.